Okay guys, uh, what we're going to do now is we are going to do 7.3 in a different way to what's in the book. So I'm going to give you different questions because I don't actually like the way they teach it. Um, I prefer to teach it in a bit more detail so you get a better understanding of the topic, not just learning the shortcuts, okay? I will still teach you the shortcut, but you're going to understand how you get there first. And one of the reasons for that is there's another method that you need later on, which you won't be able to do if you don't understand this. Okay, so uh, we're going back to factorizing. Okay, well, we're continuing with factorizing. So just again, as an example, so if I had uh, 2a plus 8, we can factorize that by taking a common factor, which would in this case be 2, and then we have a plus 4. Okay, um, you, can also have fa you can also factorize when there's more than two terms. Okay, so if I said 2a plus 4b plus 8, then you can still see that from those three terms, all of them can be divided by 2. So we can say 2 brackets a plus 2b plus 4. Okay, now sometimes though, what you're going to see is you'll get a set of um, terms where there is no common factor. Okay, so for example, 3y plus xy plus 12 plus 4x okay so let's have a look at this one so if we look at these four terms there is nothing that's common to all four of them okay we could say three but then the second one can't be divided by three and neither can the fourth we could say y but only the first two can be divided by y we could say um, x but only x, y, and 4x can be divided by that. Okay, so none of these are going to work. So we need to think of a different technique that we can use in this case. Now, this is something that's going to help you a lot later. All right, I'm going to start you off by putting in a couple of extra steps just to explain it to you. Okay, you don't have to do those. All right, this is just to explain it. Okay, so the first thing I suggest you do when you have four terms like this, is we're going to put a little dotted line after the first two terms just down here like this okay so we're going to separate it into two parts and in those two parts we're going to factorize them separately okay now you'll see i put it just before the plus because you have to remember that that plus is there don't forget that plus okay so our first two terms so we now can see that the first two terms have a common factor and the second uh, as the third and the fourth term also have a common factor okay so from the first terms we can take y and then we get 3 plus x okay great we factorize the first half plus and on the second half we can take 4 as a factor 3 plus x okay now this is interesting because what you can see here is that we have 3 plus x here, and also 3 plus x here. All right, we're going to do a little bit of an extra step here, as I said, just to show you what we can do. I don't expect you to normally write this extra step, so we're going to do this over to the right here. I don't expect you to show this, but if it helps you, you can continue to do it. All right, now, we have two brackets that are the same. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to make a substitution here. Okay, so we're going to say let 3 plus x equal, let's say, z. Okay, now as I said to you, you don't normally have to do this. This is just to show you how this works. Okay, I'll, t I'll explain at the end how to do it in a quick way. Okay, so now what we have is we have yz plus 4z. Okay, this is what we have now. All right, now this method of substituting, you're going to use this a lot in the future, so it's good for you to get used to it now. This will be helpful for you. Okay, now what you can see here is that from yz and 4z, we have a common factor. The common factor is z. So we're going to take z as a factor here, and then we have y plus 4. Okay, except back at the beginning, we said that z is equal to 
3 plus x. So we're going to replace that z with 3 plus x. And I'm bringing that back over here now, okay, because this is what's important. All right, so we have z. So z was 3 plus x times y plus 4. Okay, so we've replaced that 3 plus x back into here. All right, and that's it. We have factorized this. We now have two, uh, two factors multiplied together. And if we want to check this, so let's have a look. 3 plus x, y plus 4. If we do FOIL to check this, FOIL, f was first, so the first one from each bracket multiplied together, 3 times y, so we get 3y, okay, o is outsides, so 3 times 4, so plus 12, i is insides, so x times y, so plus xy, okay, and l is lasts, so x times 4, so plus 4x, and even though the order is a little bit different, you can see that we still have what we had at the beginning, so 3y, is 3y up the top, okay? 12 is the third term up the top, xy, and the 4x. Okay, so this does work. All right, we will do a few more examples of this just to make sure you get the hang of it, okay? As I said, I don't expect you to write this blue section over on the side here, okay? This blue section here is just to help you to understand how this works, all right? It's here to help you. You can, you, you can continue to write it if you want. Otherwise, I'll explain the shortcut with the next one. Okay? So, let's try another one now. 6 plus 3a plus 2b plus ab. So, again, with these four, we can't see a common factor from all four of them. Okay? So, I'm drawing the little dotted line. Again, you don't need to do this in the future if you don't... Um, if you find it difficult, I mean, if you find it easy, but if you find it difficult, for a lot of people that helps. So on the first half, we're going to take 3 as a factor. So 6 divided by 3 is 2, plus 3a divided by 3 is a. Okay, on the other half, you can see that b is the common factor. So b, brackets, 2b divided by, divided by b is 2, plus ab divided by b is a. Now this is the part where... We go through our substitution step. I'm still going to do it, and then I'll explain the shortcut for you. So we're going to say let z equal 2 plus a. Okay, so now we have it's equal to 3z plus bz. Okay, so now we can take z as a factor, and then we get 3 plus b. Now... And that means then that z is replaced with 2 plus a and then 3 plus b. Now I want to explain to you the little shortcut that we take to avoid having to do all of that. All right. Now you can see here that our two brackets are the same. Okay. So if the two brackets are the same, and they must be the same, if they're not the same, this doesn't work, then write the brackets down, 2 plus a. Okay then you can cover them up or you can do what I'm going to do and just highlight so you can see what's left is 3 plus b here and we write that in the second bracket and we're done all right it doesn't matter if you have them a different in a different order if you have 3 plus b first that's also fine it's not a problem okay let's do two more examples because I have one with a minus in it just to make sure you have practice at that then I have one where people make mistakes okay so one with one with a minus, we have 2p plus 10 minus pq minus 5q. Okay, so again, draw that dotted line. Now, occasionally you may need to reorganize your um, factors here. Okay, so if you find that the order doesn't help you, if you find that, for example, let's say that I had, I'll just write this one a little differently. Let's say we had 2p minus, minus 5q minus pq plus 10. Okay, you can see with this one that 2p and 5q don't have any common factors, and pq and 10 don't either. 
okay so that makes it a little difficult so we need to just shuffle something to make that work so in this case I will swap the 10 back okay so plus 10 and then it was minus 5q all right so just if you need to put them in a different order that's also fine okay so factors in the first half are 2 p plus 5 now we have a minus here so you have to be careful here so minus and what what common factor do we have we have minus q okay now minus pq divided by minus q will give us a positive because it's a negative divided by a negative so we get positive p and again we have a negative minus 5q divided by q it's a negative divided by a negative so it's going to be positive 5 okay now as i said last time check that the brackets match Okay, I can see that these two brackets match, so I'm going to write it down, p plus 5. And then in my second brackets, I'm just going to write down whatever is left. So whatever's left is 2 minus q. Okay, and we have factorized this. All right, and as I said, I just have one more just to make sure you guys get this, because this one people make mistakes with. Okay, so if I said to you 10 a plus 5 plus 2ac plus c okay now with this one our first factor is obviously going to be from the first half sorry we'll put the dotted line in from the first half our factor is going to be 5 okay 10a divided by 5 is 2a okay and 5 divided by 5 is 1 so please remember these ones okay plus uh, on our other side we can see that c is a factor so we have 2a plus 1 okay and that will give us again we make sure our brackets are the same okay so we have 2a plus 1 and then our, what's left outside the brackets is 5 plus c okay and what some people forget about is that one so please make sure you remember the one there now what you might also occasionally find is that your second two numbers don't have a common factor you can take one as a factor okay one might be one of your factors there okay so if the order of this one was slightly different so for example if I had 10a plus 2ac plus 5 plus c okay let's have a look at it in this order the question is exactly the same we've just written it in a slightly different order okay our first factor 10a and 2ac is 2a okay so then 10a divided by 2a is going to be 5 2ac divided by 2a is c now on the second half here 5 and c don't have common factors all right if neither of them have common factors but you've already taken something from the start then try one okay so one it's just going to be 5 plus C and you can see now here we still have the brackets are the same okay so it's 5 plus C okay and then what's left outside the brackets is 2a plus 1 Okay, and you can see that that's exactly the same as what we had on the left. It's just in reverse. Okay, but with multiplication, that doesn't matter. Okay, good luck.